Hey everyone, it's Jim Cohn. It's, uh, it's an exciting time in my world right now because the end of the semester is very, very near. Um, you know, I love my students and I love teaching, but oh my God, that sweet feeling of relief when you finish the last day of classes. Anyway, folks, episode seven of Circle of Willis is almost done. In that episode, I'll be talking with Marco Iacoboni about mirror neurons, growing up in Rome, the process of writing a popular book, and a bunch of other stuff. And to get you ready, here's a quick preview. One of the things I, I wanted to ask you to help me understand mm -hmm. is the backlash, mm -hmm. the, back, the mirror neurons. I mean, there's a, there was a popular book just a couple of years ago out. Yeah, uh, about the myth how, of mirror neurons or something. The myth of mirror neurons, right? <laughs> Everybody's passing it around social media because it's sort of like, uh, you know, you know, it's sort of like the, the fashion now yeah, yeah. to disprove a thing. Yeah, but actually there is nothing that that, that book actually disproved. Uh, first of all, it comes from a sim very simple paper that the same author wrote for uh, John Kai in your sense, and uh, the book is just an expansion of that. Who's the, the author concept. again? I can't remember. Uh, Do you remember? Greg Hickok. Oh, yeah, Hickok. Hickok. Right, yeah, yeah. But the idea is that, I mean, worse, there's no meat. I mean, the f mirror neurons are, it's a real phenomenon. It's the most demonstrable. You but I do. guess the way that I've heard the controversy is, is it that there are specific neurons that are for the purpose of mirroring or is it that it's a thing that neurons in the brain do is that a really a, a question that makes any sense at all we know that the brain well i mean in the sense that there might be other neurons that never mirror oh yeah i mean that's possible we don't know about that but certainly um, my idea is that mirror neurons mirror neurons become mirror and they acquire the, 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 the property of being mirroring in the sense of responding to the same action that they could motorically. I see. Um, but it's probably... But, it's, but, is, but is mirroring just a, like a, pro a thing that brains do? Or it's is a it process. A, things it's more that like brains have, as a, in, in, in like, like a Lego piece that is the mirror part. No, I think it's more like a process. I think that I, when I think about the brain, it's always like that. I don't think uh -huh. that you know, the brain, I mean, the, we know this amazing plasticity in the brain. We know, and when I went to med school, that was many years ago, I was told that you reach a certain age and you can only lose neurons. We know that that's not true <laughs> that's anymore. That's not true, right. In yeah. the adult brain, you can induce neurogenesis with, with stimulation, with other things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so, right. I mean, neurons are, are a plastic properties. They change their own responses and so actually that's the way I think about mirror neurons so say in ontogeny I'm the baby you are the caregiver the baby smiles the caregiver can't help smiles back at the baby and the baby's brain is very simple to make through associative learning a connection between making a smile and seeing someone oh, else smile I see so mirror neurons are born right there <laughs> right but it's still it's still I, mean, I guess I guess in that sense the 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 designation of one set of neurons versus another one set of neurons is mirror neurons and the other is not mirror neurons might be because the mirror neurons are the ones that have been that have had that associative learning right they're not necessarily phylogenetically you know no, they're, they're in the right place at the right time for having that mirroring interaction right but that's uh, that's a very simple i mean after all mirror neurons are defined by the physiological properties they have think about the simple and complex cells of bubel and visual they uh -huh. also they're just pyramidal neurons and they have these these properties yeah 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 well i mean i guess yeah that makes sense that makes a lot of sense to me so in that sense how would it be possible for you know, mirror neurons to be mythical, unless you're stuck thinking about them in that way that I've been describing. Like there is a kind of neuron that that only is yeah. a mirror neuron. Yeah, I think Hickok and others that were critical of mirror neurons were mostly critical of some of the interpretations about mirror neurons, mm -hmm. rather than mm -hmm. the phenomenon is there. I mean, there's yeah. no doubt it. It's actually very compelling, and it's very pervasive. And actually, I think it's very important because it really it's a way to show uh, how the brain assimilates the self and the other. All right, that's it. That uh, that guy, I love that guy. He's he's brilliant, and he always keeps me laughing. Uh, I want to thank my friend Hal Movius for composing and performing this little tune we got here that's playing here. So thanks, Hallam. And I uh, just want to say, look for episode seven and more Marco Iacoboni coming soon. Bye bye. Whoa.